Hi there. Welcome back. Oh, well, can you believe that it is now 3,000 kilometers that I've done on Mahindi? I can't believe it. It's gone so fast. And I thought, well, I'll have to do a little review on how things are going because um, I'm actually pretty happy with her, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, no, things are really good. I have done the beach trip and I took her out to the Glasshouse Mountains. However, that wasn't very successful, I have to say. And that wasn't because of the car. It was more to the point that it was super busy on the tracks. And um, literally four wheel drives are just like screaming past me. And I was on these corrugated iron, oh, corrugated road, not iron. Um, you know areas and so there was like stones flicking up and all sorts of stuff and bloody dust everywhere and it was just nuts and I was like and I haven't even got to the track so I thought to myself right that's it no you've got to just wait until it's a weekday and then you can maybe try that again so uh, I will endeavor to do that there is another little track that's not far from where I live and um it's near the river so I might have a little go of that today um, and maybe stick the drone up in the air we have had the worst crappiest weather uh, around like it's been totally crap um, in the fact that it was like a mini cyclone <laughs> so uh, it's just been pouring rain and really really windy so you, can, you just can't do anything and you can't put a drone in the air so yeah I will try and get the drone up today it's a, still a little bit windy but I think I'll be fine I think I'll be able to get it up no problem but I just thought let's just have a little walkthrough of um, this beautiful car and uh, what else oh I've got a surprise I can't believe it you know how much I love Mahindra well there may be a new Mahindra in the family so I might have to show you that as well anyway let's uh get to it so let's just go through a few little key things that I found out using this car um, that it's just you know it takes you a little while to find things and uh, sometimes it's just easier if someone helps you <laughs> so I will do my best to help you um, if you've just bought a new Mahindra or you're looking to buy one and some of the things you don't know it has um, I'll, I'll um, take you through it so first of all we'll just have a look at the um, so this is the Apple CarPlay and you need to be able to plug it in to a USB. Now I use this other USB here um, with, so I can just, you know, have whatever other instruments I want to use. Or you can just use your cigarette lighter. Um, this is the ent entertainment system, the home screen. So you've got your car info that will tell you my car's not on at the moment, but um, if I turn it on, ooh, what the hell that? Um, we'll be able to see your mileage. So at the moment, it says that I'm doing 4.9. Now, there's been a lot of people talk about this average mileage, and what I can gather from just you know driving and um, oh, well. Uh, you know filling up my tank a few times because I basically fill it up fill, I fill it completely and then uh, I see how much left I have in the fuel tank and then I sort of calculate it that way when I refill so I've been getting like about 930 kilometers roughly um, per tank and as you can see I'm up to 3037 kilometers it's crazy so uh yeah so at the moment i've done 400 kilometers 405 and it's still saying i've got 612 but that will change so this goes up and down all the time so i've seen it like at 12 and then i can see it at 15.1 so it just depends how you're going with your driving i guess um but it is real time definitely real time so this gives you your alerts um no services due at the moment this is your e-manual, which is really, really um, helpful. Uh, you've got your infotainment. So this is all, you know, um, the Apple CarPlay, blah, blah, blah. Go back, your cruise control, how to do it, tells you how to do it. 
cruise control. The cruise control feature gives an effortless driving <laughs> experience by maintaining. So as you can see, it tells you everything. It's so clever. Um, reverse park assistant system. I haven't listened to this one. Reverse parking assistance system. Reverse parking assistance sensors are located on the rear bumper. I don't think we have that. <laughs> I don't think we have. Oh, maybe we do. Yeah, it does make a noise. Okay, that's interesting. That's something I didn't know. Um, the climate control system. Now, this is the air conditioning here. Uh, so I've got on my car, obviously, I've got the. Um, the auto climate one they say it's best to keep the reticulated air on um, it's also good for your air conditioning but um, you know obviously when you're trying to cool down the, the cabin you can you know put it on auto and you'll hear it'll it'll just blow out the air cool it down and then once you've got your um, desired temp you can take this off and let fresh air in but they say just to do this so that it um, conserves the air conditioning gas and all that sort of stuff I don't know why but that's just what they say um, if we go back to our home screen again you've got your Apple CarPlay I won't turn that on because my music will come on and then I'll be copyright <laughs> so I better not you've got your phone um, and you've got all your contacts voicemails blah 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 back to the home and here's your media oh no stop no we don't want to play that um back oh dup, 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 dup. turn it off turn it off oh shit yeah i gotta turn it off excuse me i'll do it on my phone okay all right so that's that now some really handy stuff that i found about this car is well they're just your controls of where you want your vents to go but um that's your front rear uh, front um demister and then if you want to do your back that's your back demister on the uh toggle here then um this is your hill um, descent so if you're going you know on a 50 percent in inclination then you can use this hill descent and then you just use your toggles uh your speed toggles here just if you want it to go faster or slower or whatever um esp off this is your electronics um stability protection thing so the car's automatically got that in it and uh basically you can turn that off so if you were you know sand driving or if you're going forward driving on some pretty full-on tracks you can turn that off and then you've got a little bit more control over the vehicle I guess rather than it kind of recorrecting itself your hazard lights um, now this is interesting so this here that is your lights uh, so that's automatic lights. so if you turn that on and then you have your light switch on the car will automatically pick up when um you know when to turn its headlights on so as soon as it gets dark for the car if you go through a tunnel or anything like that then uh you you know it will come on automatically this is the other thing that's interesting because i didn't know that um the led front lights which i'll show you in a tick i'll turn this thing off and i'll go and show you what that looks like so when you turn it onto these little whiskers here um you are turning on the front whiskers, or the front headlights, LED ones, the running lights, I'll show you. So you see that? And this little light here is on as well. It's hard to see during the day. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'll turn that off now and then you've got your fog lamp so this is the front one and that's your front and rear fog, fog lamp now I don't know why that won't let me turn that on maybe because this isn't on ah okay so it'll let you turn that on once you've got at least your running lamps on so that turns it off turn that off um, so that's good now the biggest thing that I do love and that is this little thing here so this is your rain sensor wiper oh my god that is the biggest game-changer for me because 
I find that the, the um, this is where you find the, the lights, oh, sorry, the, the uh, wipers, sorry. You know, so you've got your one off and then you've got your, oh, how? oh that's right. Yeah, so I don't know. I just love having this, this automatic thing because in my Jeep, that used to just come on automatically all the time. But the fact that I can turn this off is so good because see how when I turn it on, it wiped and it's because my screen's a little bit dirty because we've had heaps of rain. Yes, I'm going to wash my darling. She needs a little wash again. We've had heaps of rain, so it really just needs, um, a clear windscreen otherwise it will just keep going off so that's one thing I didn't really like about my Jeep is that that particular rain sensor wiper because you couldn't turn the thing off and it used to just randomly go in the sunshine it would go off and stuff like that um here's your modes for your four-wheel drive so whenever well when I did it I made sure that I was definitely in neutral um or did I do it in first yeah, I might have done it first, but I was completely stopped before. I haven't used the full low yet, so I'm going to explore that eventually. Um, here we've got the up and down for the winds. That's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. Like That's your window lock, so you can lock that. So it means that the passengers, so if you've got kids in the car, they can't be winding their windows up and down all the time. There is also a feature on this um, thing that you can actually... Uh, I forget what they call it but anyway you can make the window go to a certain point and then you know if anything if it feels anything weird then it will just go down if anything's hanging off it or whatever I'll have to have a read of that I'll get back to you on that if I if it's interesting um, this is your lights where you kind of like like to point so you've only got one two three and mine's on zero I'll put it on one um, oh, this is this is important because when I first bought this car, I was like, where the, how do I turn the mirrors? Ah, so you got the zero means it's not in action right there. So how you actually do it is you push it and see how it goes out. I know these are stupidly basic things, push it that way. And it comes, comes in like that or go up and it goes up or go down and it goes down. So I know that's really basic, but I'm telling you, <laughs> that took me so long to work out. So that's just another little thing. Um, yeah, and then you've got your voice control. So when you've got Apple CarPlay, Serial, you can talk to Suri and she'll do whatever you want. So, In chemistry, Suri. that was from Wicked. Um, yeah, then you've got your, uh, your cruise control. So that's really easy. When you want to set cruise control, it was extracted from, you want to put your cruise control, you just press and hold that I'm top button. I'm learning how to choose the right audio apps for you. Which one do you want to use to listen to this? None. Thank you, Suri. So you just go up and down like that. Um, when you want to set your cruise control. Now the cruise control is not perfect in these vehicles. I'd have to say like, um, yeah, it does go up and down a fair bit. I do use it. I actually like it. It's it's fine. It's just when you're going like on, on a hill or going down a hill, it can sort of speed up a little bit, which I know my Jeep never, ever used to do. Oh, my God. There's a little Iggy there. It is the most gorgeous little thing. <laughs> How sweet. Um, anyway, back to the car. Uh, yeah, and then you'll see, see the light flashing there. So that means we've got a um, alarm on this car too. So... If anyone tries to break in, it'll start beeping. Um, what else have we got? Oh yeah, so if you want to set, if you want to set your um, trip again, you just press that button there, uh, and the mode. That's my B. And Sorry, that's my I'm A. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Sorry, could you say that again? Yep. So that's that. Um, that's kind of handy. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Let's go to the outside. Now, okay, my car is a teeny weeny little bit dirty. But forgive me. Okay, so we got the beautiful sports bar on the back. Now, a lot of people are asking me, do I like these? Mm, don't know about that, actually. 
don't know. I don't know if I do because uh, it's when you open it. So if I open this and I just like open it and then I go to close it. See these things here? They always get caught in that bit there. So I've sort of figured out how to stop that from happening if I want to just quickly go and open the back of the car and that is just to stick that around like that. Um, yeah, so stick that there. You don't have as much drama. Drama with them doing it. But yeah, no, it's still pretty good. Oh my God, look how gorgeous she looks in the sun really looks cool she's still special she needs a wash people definitely needs a wash but um, yeah. still pretty darn happy with this girl so yeah what else we're gonna do I think we might um, go down to the beach put a little bit of a drone shot up or go and have a little drive I don't know on some tracks and then I'll wash her because then she can get dirty all right so oh, I thought I'd just take you for a little drive along. Um... Oh, there's that little Iggy again. I can see it. Oh, there it goes. Hi, little Iggy. <laughs> it's so cute, that thing. I've got a, I have a whippet, so um, I absolutely love seeing those little dogs. They are so cute. I much prefer my whippet. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. I, I do like little greyhounds. They are so cute too. But anyway, I'm just taking you for a nice drive along the beach we're not on the beach obviously but we are on the esplanade and it is a lovely day today finally we actually have good weather and uh, we can enjoy this beautiful sunshine the beach is looking really sad though it's very uh rough out there like we've had like six meter waves and all sorts of stuff out the, out the front so yeah there's been cruise ships that haven't been able to come in they've been, been sort of stuck out there just motoring around because everything's been shut because it's sort of been dangerous uh the ports of brisbane and things like that so yeah it's too dangerous for the pilots to actually bring them in um because that's what they have to do they have to go out pilot boats have to go out take the pilots that are australian to bring them into our um shipping channels because uh, the international is not allowed to so yeah very interesting so yeah it's been that dangerous the seas have been quite huge that not even they've been able to do that so yeah but yeah as you can see today is absolute perler of a day it's a shame you can't see the beach maybe I could try and if I can get a spot I'll have a look for you Let's just pull over here and I'll just go and do a little quick tour of the beach because I love the beach okay um, I'll take you for a little wander down to the beach there's my girl oh my word it's really nutty here we are she's as rough as let's take this little path down here Still a beautiful day. Through the pandemic. Oh, look how rough it is. Wow. Very dirty. That's Point Cartwright down there. So misty, so it's quite windy still, and it's a sort of a, a sour easter still. Anyway, not the best day for swimming. Oh, up the hill. Oh, I should take Mindy up this. That's what I should do. Take the car up here. Oh. Hey again, we're off to the Glasshouse Mountains tracks. Um, we're just driving through the pine forest now on 
Roy's Road? No, no, yeah, Roy's Road? No. Oh, I forget. Whatever it is. Anyway, heading out to the glass house. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a bit overcast, but that's okay. Righto. We're on the corrugated iron track, heading towards Mount Chipper Garden. So lovely here. There's lots of um, pineapple farms around here. It's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. Currently, we're at the Glasshouse Mountains in the scenic cookout. Very interesting. It's absolutely beautiful. It's stunning up here. The valley at the back. Mount Viewa. Radio guys. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I've got a few things that I wanted to show you, like I'm, I'm going to go take this car on the tracks today, so that'll be a bit of fun, but I don't know if I'll put it to, through today in this episode, I think I might just save that for, I'll put one out during the week, so you'll see another one very soon, but, um, and I also need to show you something else, so you've got to stay tuned because I am going to show you the new edition. I'll see you soon, bye, so good to see you, bye.